Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this, we're going to be showing you how to enable or disable the automatic sign-in account at startup in Windows 11. Now, technically, this policy, there's pretty much a couple ways how you can do this. Usually, we can type into SNP PO Wiz by typing this. And usually, we'll have an option to select the user that you want to skip the sign-in automatically, but it seems kind of grayed out. It might appear if I change and enable it through registry, but right now, it's not there. So, the first option we're going to be showing you is pretty much through registry. And if it does come up onto NetPOWiz by having that policy, then we'll show you that route. But if it doesn't, then you get the point. We're just going to be showing you how to do it using the registry editor. So, before we get into this, I do want to pretty much tell you a disclaimer. Now, a fair warning before we get any further. You do this at your own risk. What we're about to do is modify some registry files inside of Windows, and there is a chance that something could go wrong and possibly render your operating system. It's recommended to create a recovery disk and backup any data that can't live without. How does computer repair is not responsible for any damage that could occur. This video was created for educational purpose only, and the registry changes that we're going to do comes with absolutely no warranty. With all of this out of the way, we're going to go ahead and go to the registry editor. So just you go to start and type in reg edit and you can go ahead and select it you might be prompted go ahead and press yes and here we are now we're going to registry edit so we need to do a few extra steps for this now be very careful what we're going to be doing on this any changes that you do incorrectly could possibly mess up your computer so again follow the steps exactly so we're going to go ahead go ahead and type into hq local machine and expand that then we're going to go to software then we're going to go to microsoft then we're going to scroll down and t see windows nt and here we are into Windows NT, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. We're going to expand that to current version. Go ahead and expand that. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over just to give it a little bit more of the view. And I can expand this over here too that you can see fully, make it easier. And we're going to scroll down to see Win Log In Log On Windows Log On. That's right here. There it is. And what we're going to be doing is if the files are there, then it's a lot easier. If you do not, you would probably have to create it. So first thing we're just going to type in auto admin login if you don't have this file you probably would need to create a new um i think it's let me see if i can remember this i think it's a d word no it's not a d word so let me cancel that it's probably a uh, registered let's see if it's this one new string value so it's a string value if it's, it's not there you would have to pretty much the user's already created it's auto admin login if you don't have one you'll pretty much type in net new string value name it as an auto admin login and you'll pretty much get the same point and then you'll have the file Right now, the value is set up to zero. We're going to change this value to one and press OK. Next thing that you will need to do is pretty much you'll see a default domain name. If your computer is connected to a domain that you're literally on your computer to find out if it's on a domain, you'll pretty much go to Explore and you'll see this PC. Go ahead and select to go to Properties. And then usually underneath here, it'll tell you if you're joined in a network because we can find that out here. One second. Oh, domain and work group. It would be right here if you are connected right now. I'm in a work group. It shows what yours is. If you are in a domain, you'll need to get the info for it. So that would be the process of it. Regardless, I don't have a domain on there, so it doesn't really matter for it. Next, I will need to do is change the default user name. So the user that's already set up is user. If you had a different user, you would have to change it. And it is very case sensitive. Now, technically, if you were in a domain and we had a different user you want to, there is a trick typing the dot and the backslash and that will pretty much create a local user even if you're joined in a domain so pretty much that local user created for the domain is there and was assigned to that route so those two are pretty much already set um, I don't have a default domain don't really need it and one thing that will be needed that possibly may not be there is the default password so to this I'm gonna go ahead and create a new string value and I'm gonna name this called default password I'm going to press that. I'm actually going to press F5. That way this can kind of reorganize in straight order. So here we are, the default password. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And you would have to type in the password. My user doesn't really matter. It's pretty much simple. It's user1234. And press OK. And it's pretty much set. So that is pretty much set there. And it's not fully done. You're almost done. And you think that that's it, but you're not fully it. Next thing you do is go to Windows Login Key. And pretty much, let's see if I have this correct. Actually, I might pretty much have everything set. So let's see. I have the default password there. I have the user sign set up on there. I have the auto sign in login there. I think we're pretty much good. So I'm going to go ahead and change these few settings right here. And I'm going to go ahead and X this out. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and just try and restart the computer and see what happens. So power, restart, and we'll take a look and see what happens. So right now Windows is coming up and it is signing me in without even asking. Now technically if you have the password incorrectly, you'll probably get an error for it. And it's pretty much already set. I signed into Windows once I powered it on automatically. Now if you don't believe me, I'm actually gonna type in Windows key. I'm actually I can't type Windows key, I'm on a virtual computer, actually sign me out, correct me. I'm just gonna go ahead and user and I'm gonna say lock. And when I click it, here I am, and it's asking for my password. And here I am, my password I put, user password 1234. So pretty much it is set and it did work. Now, that was the option by doing this to registry. I'm actually just going to check one last settings here and we can do the net POWs route. Now we did some registry changes. It might have the ability to turn this off. So net POWs and no. It usually has a feature but it is missing. I'll probably make a video later on how to add that little feature because it's missing for this list. But the first option right here is the registry edit. If a new one comes out, I'll probably do both, trying to do the net PO with option or the registry option for it. But I would have to look it up first. But that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so pretty much it's already set. Now, if you don't want to, then you want to be remove it back, you'll just type in registry edit. Select registry editor. You'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And it remembers where we were just at. If you do not know, again, you'll go to pretty much go to local machine, software, Microsoft. Scroll down all the way until you see Windows NT, current version. Go to Windows Log On, and pretty much everything sets. Now, if you don't want this to be on, you can pretty much delete the default password, and that will fix that problem. And the second thing we'll do is the auto admin login, change that value to zero, and press OK. And that pretty much should be it. So now if I pretty much sign out, I'm going to go ahead and, actually not sign out, I'm going to go ahead and just restart this just to show you one more time. We're going to go ahead and press the user. And we're going to, let me see if I can actually just go to power. And we're going to go ahead and restart this again and see what happens. So here we are. This time I did remove the registry changes here. So now every time when I come on here, it's not letting me automatically sign in. So I have to type in the password to be able to get through this. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Hutton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.